Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman, the kind I'd like to meet. Pretty woman, I don't believe you. You're not the truth. No one could be as good as you. Mercy. I'm Martin Sargent. Clearly, I'm the guy. Duh. Yeah, I'm pretty much the man. Get with it. Yo, what's up? That's rad, man. What's up? You've never seen anything like that. Blingo. Blingo? I'm screwed. That's right. <laughs> oh, mercy. Hello there, and welcome to Unscrewed, the show that proves that television stars don't necessarily have an easier time getting laid. <laughs> I'm Martin Sarge, and joined, as always, by the rare and radiant Laura Swisher. Laura Swisher. Swisher. Yeah. Swisher. You How you doing? Know. I'm doing okay, Marty. How are you? I suck, man. Laura, today is one of the worst days I've had since Deep Space Nine got canceled. That was a really bad day for you. My internet girlfriend, Sassy Angel 82, she, she dumped me. And can you believe oh. that that little hoe dumped me via email? You're kidding. This is rude. You're what's, this, what's this real cut? <laughs> now I have to start the whole internet dating thing again. And I'm so nervous when I'm around these virtual women that I always get really liquored up when I do the internet right, dating, right. which is like the stupidest thing you could possibly do because you wake up the next morning and you roll over and you've got this fat chick in your of inbox. Course. I've had that happen to me. There's only like one email in my inbox and already my Yahoo mail is going, you have exceeded your six megabyte limit. That's how big. <laughs> I hate when fat girls end up in my inbox. I'm like, what? I, you know, you said it sucks. You need like two hands on the mouse to drag her to the recycle bin. How big she is. That's uh. bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all right. It's, okay. it's all right. I, yeah, I found a virtual way of banging my head right here on the internet. See, it was this mouse just boing, 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 boing. <laughs> You're too pretty to bang your head. You don't want to. I know. <laughs> like that guy. Come back to me, baby. Send me an e-greeting or something. God. <laughs> Tonight's show, wow. Tonight's show is off the proverbial hook. First, We've got this messed up German guy who gets off by thinking and writing about singer Roy Orbison all wrapped up in saran wrap. Yeah. <laughs> then you see this uh, photo of Barbara Streisand's Malibu estate? Well, she sued the photographer who took the photo and put it up on his website for $10 million. Now we're showing it to you on TV, which is probably really stupid. Come and get me, Babs, but if you do, I'll stop buying all of your albums, I promise. Why are we going to do this? Well, Andrew Goldberg, he's a reporter for that fantastic website, The Smoking Gun. He's going to be here tonight. He's going to explain it all. Also, tonight's musical guest has a new fresh sound and an appetite for American chicks. Look out, Breezies, because here's John B. Really like American girls. They are so pretty. Sometimes if I'm nice to them, they'll take me to the big yeah. city. That's awesome. I used to have that same haircut. We'll check in with John and his girls a little bit later in the show. Now, now we have something a little unusual even by our standards. Our next guest is with us uh, by phone all the way from Dusseldorf, Germany. His name is Ulrich Harburst, and he has become moderately famous by running a website devoted to what I imagine is a fairly unique fetish. Ulrich writes stories about Roy Orbison being wrapped in cling film. Huh? Cl cling film. That's, that? that's saran wrap in European. That's what they call uh, okay. it over there. We're very privileged tonight to have the author of these wonderful works on the phone, live from Dusseldorf, Mr. Harburst. Are you there? Hello. Good afternoon. Good, good evening from Dusseldorf. You are well, Martin? I'm well. I'm well. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, so to, to my sexually repressed American ears, this sounds like a pretty weird fetish. Can I ask you... How long have you been writing these fantasies about Roy Orbison being wrapped in cling film, and why did you start? Well, uh, when I am a young boy, um, I wrap many things in cling film, as young boys will, and I enjoy this very much. But then I realized there's something missing, and that it could be much better. And then one day, I am seeing a picture of Mr. Roy Orbison, the famous man in black. Yeah. And at that moment, in an instant of holy clarity, I know what is the meaning of my life, which is that one day I will meet this man, and I will wrap him in cling film, and I will leave him wrapped in cling film for several hours, and then I will unwrap him, and then I will wrap him again many, well, many times, and it will be fantastic. Why not, why not Elvis or, or Tom Petty? Tom Petty. <laughs> yeah, that is ridiculous. What are you giving me with a Tom Petty? No, no, that would be foolish. No, it must be Mr. Roy Orbison for me. Well, br briefly take us through uh, your favorite Roy Orbison cling film fantasy. Ah, my favorite. Okay. 
Okay, in my favorite fantasy, me and Mr. Roy Orbison, we are trapped together in the Kling Film Factory overnight, <laughs> yeah? So we are in the factory and we are surrounded by all the Kling Films, big, big rolls of Kling Film. And I wrap Mr. Roy Orbison in Kling Film many, many times over and over again. And that is wonderful. Uh, that's getting me off. Um, is it not true that all Germans live their lives at the mercy of some shockingly strange sexual fetish? Well, you know, uh, they like to experiment, you know. I think, I think in the States, you are too hung up with the penis and the orifice, you know. There are <laughs> other things you can do which are fun as well, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but this is wholesome, you know. This is, this is not some uh, sick fetish like the donkey masturbation or the people who put the crocodile clips upon the nipples, you know, or the people who do things to cheese. You know, this is nice to wrap things in cling film to preserve them. You know, the, the Egyptians, they would wrap their pharaohs in cling film. Yeah? So, Nice. Uh, you have to understand, I'm talking to people out there now, the only way that Mr. Harbors would consent to do this interview is if we had a Roy Orbison impersonator right here on our set yeah. that we would then wrap in saran wrap during the interview. So we yeah. have one. We have one of the best ones in the United States. Roy Boy, come on out here. Uh, uh, he, Let's hear it for Roy Boy. There he is. He's there, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I, this uh, he, is, he is this it, it, exact replica. Yeah, he looks he looks like Roy. Yeah, he looks exactly like Roy Orbison, and he's uh, all wrapped up in cling film. Can he sing? Can he sing like Roy? He can sing. Okay, yes, Roy, go ahead and sing a song. Only the lonely know the what? way I feel oh, tonight. Only that? the lonely <laughs> know this feeling <laughs> ain't right. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> pretty good, huh? What was that? Martin, what was that? That, that did not sound like Roy. That was atrocious. It, it, it's, a, it's a transatlantic call, you got to realize here. The, <laughs> the lines must be messed up or something like that. He's the best in the United okay. States. He's okay, the best. good. So, no. so now you will wrap him in cling film? Can yeah, you? do you want to hear? We'll wrap him even further in cling film, and the microphone will be very up close. Ah, uh, yeah, Laura, yeah. please wrap him in cling film and listen closely. Can you send me the tape? Yes, we'll send you the tape. Listen. Ah, uh, God bless you. Oh, I can hear it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that's good, oh that's <laughs> very good, oh I'm a naughty boy, oh, I'm a bad German, I'm a bad German, oh yeah, wrap and tight, wrap and tight Martin. It's, oh it's so tight, it's so tight. Oh it's so good, it's so good. It, hey, is it, is it common to feel a little bit dirty when indulging in this cling film wrapping thing? Because well, I feel, I yeah, feel a little filthy. Bit, but if this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Yeah. <laughs> Are there other people like you out there? Is there like a club, an organization that have fetishized the image of yeah, Roy Orbison? Yeah. There are perhaps so many as uh, seven people like me. Seven others? Yeah, oh. but, but you know, we are growing over time. Perhaps you will join us now. Perhaps I will. I've, I've learned so much. Okay, now that he's been completely wrapped up, perhaps you'd like to hear one more song? Yeah, yeah, please. Roy Boy, please, one more. There Thank goes you, my baby, there goes my heart, ah, yeah. they're gone forever. Yeah, yeah, good. So oh, far thank God for America. All right. Oh, thank you. You'll send me the tape? You'll send you the tape, I promise, Mr. Oh, Harbors. Thank you, you're good people. Oh, it's Dubai. Dubai. It's, it's been highly <laughs> educational. Thank you so much. It's, it's a little bit disturbing, though. Thanks for speaking with us. Good luck with whatever other depravity you have on going over there in Germany. And we'll send you that tape. Sweet Jesus, the Germans. <laughs> hey, why does this simple photo of California's scenic coastline have Barbara Streisand in a tizzy? Andrew Goldberg of the SmokingGun.com is up next to dish all the dirt. We'll be right back. The long arm of the law reaches in every level of society, from the outcasts to the rich and famous. And the smoking gun is there to help make sure the rest of us know exactly what's going on in the courtrooms of America. Live via satellite from New York City is Andrew Goldberg, reporter for The Smoking Gun. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks so much. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. You look real relaxed. I like the hoodie. Thanks. You know, dressed up for the show tonight. <laughs> hey, so The Smoking Gun digs up the secrets that the celebrities would rather have been kept quiet, no? Yeah, I mean, we dig around. We look in court files. We look at police records. We go back in time, and, you know, we try and stay, uh, you know, 
right ahead of the curve a little bit. So perfect examples would include, I mean, we, a lot of us saw in the newspaper, Nick Nolte's mugshot, right? Right, sure. I mean, we love mugshots, and, you know, that's something we started doing in the last year or so. Just what do you think he was screwed up on in that picture? Well, I mean, I guess, he, what, what's the claim? It was the date rape drug that he was on at the time? <laughs> so was he the raper? I don't want to know. So uh, what, what other ones are up there? What are the other famous celebrities that have been up there? Yasmin Belief, uh, uh -huh. Carmen Electra and Rodman got arrested together for Hugh domestic Grant, battery. Hugh Grant, of course. Hugh Grant, that's a famous one. Uh -huh, um, that, he's looking so embarrassed in that picture. And, of course, someone who's true to our hearts here at Tech TV, Bill Gates. Bill Gates is up there. I mean, that's one of the classic from New Mexico. So, you know, I mean, we cover the whole gamut of people and we categorize them and we keep adding, fortunately for us. So are these things open to public record? I mean, walk me through how you guys actually get your hands on these. Well, when it comes to a mugshot, I mean, everything depends on where somebody happens to get arrested. Um, so if you get arrested in L.A., like people will say to us, hey, where's Winona's mugshot? Where's Winona? But, mm -hmm. you know, those aren't public documents in Los Angeles, so it's really hard to get our hands on them. And occasionally we will, but it's usually somebody sort of uh, doing something on the down low for us. New York is another tough place to get a mugshot out of, but you know, if it happens in Florida, if it happens in Virginia, if it happens in, you know, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. hey, it's good. So, you know, as long as celebrities keep moving around the country, <laughs> we're going to be fine. Well, right now, the big story that you're reporting on is everyone's favorite funny girl. She's not so happy. Why did Babs, Barbara Streisand, get so pissed off? Well, she's upset at this uh, coastal photographer. Um, what he does is he flies up and down the coast and he takes pictures and he's starting this preservation project where, you know, people can come and they can take a look and, you know, see the erosion or just see the landscape. And one of the things he did was he photographed her Malibu home. And, you know, you can go onto the website, look up different locations and buy pictures and she feels like her security's at risk. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the, she's worried about the erosion of her career. And quite honestly, I mean, nobody was really looking at the site of any real interest <laughs> until she sort of brought it up as a lawsuit. <laughs> Exactly. So another celebrity is singing sort of a sad song, Marshall Mathers. We know him as Eminem. What's the current rap on him? Well, he's got a suit going on right now in Michigan, and the interesting thing about it is he's being sued by a guy named D'Angelo Bailey, mm -hmm. and uh, he's claiming, Bailey claims that he was defamed in a song that uh, called Brain Damage that Eminem put out a couple of years ago where he says, you know, this kid would beat me up, and he goes in detail. Now, the interesting thing is, back in 1982, when Eminem was 10 years old, his mother filed a lawsuit against the Dort Elementary School in Michigan saying, hey, my son was getting beaten up by a guy named D'Angelo Bailey. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there's some precedent there for uh, Eminem making that claim. The name of the school was Dort? Dort, Dort Elementary School. Well, it's so it's not just celebrities, though, is it? I mean, smoking on also highlights the wrongdoings of the common man. We're going to show a picture right now of a couple, a very beautiful couple. Yeah. What did they get in trouble for? What were they up to? That's Brenda and John, and they're from uh, yeah. looks, Louisiana. Looks like and, Nick uh, Nolte. He looks a little bit, except for the overalls, right? <laughs> the other one. <laughs> um, <laughs> He, uh, they, they were uh, having sex on top of a water tower in the town, and uh, the cops showed up. They knew there were two people up there. They didn't know if they were trying to commit suicide. They didn't know what was going on, so they had to climb up to get him down. And, uh, you know, what they found out was that these two people decided, as he told the cops, he wanted to have um, sex on top of the world. And for, you know, if you live there, the water tower <laughs> is on top of the world. And uh, the local sheriff got into the act, because uh, we don't normally put up press releases, but one of the things was the local sheriff said, you know, this was the poor man's version of the Mile High Club. <laughs> <laughs> so the smoking gun, it's a mainstay of documenting these celebrity wrongdoers. What story really put you guys on the map, though? Well, I think, you know, probably the first thing that people sort of took notice, because we were always just throwing up documents, was, um, remember that show, Who Wants to Marry a Multimillionaire, that Fox did? It was sort of like the big launch of reality TV. Mm -hmm. And then um, Rick Rockwell, the comedian, he was the millionaire, and everyone was thrilled, you know, it was a big wedding. Then sort of we came up with the document that said, hey, you know, a prior girlfriend had filed a restraining order against him because he had threatened, you know, to really hurt her. So suddenly that threw Fox's show, you know, into chaos, and they were going to re-air it, and it got huge ratings, and suddenly they took it off the air, and that was the end of that show. Of course, as we know, we didn't kill <laughs> reality TV with that one, though. Yeah, those were the great days, though, the dawn of reality TV. I look like fun. Seems so far away two years ago, three years ago. Do you ever ago. feel guilty for for exposing all these people to public scrutiny, though. I mean, you guys are kind of being nah, dicks here. Nah, 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 nah. You know, I mean, maybe we are being dicks, but, you know, I don't feel guilty about it. Um, basically, I mean, you know, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. I mean, you know, I... I mean, what are we supposed to do? It's, uh, it's information, and really, you know, people in Hollywood, especially, especially famous mm -hmm. people, spend so much time, you know, controlling their image. Once you get into court, you know, that's one part of your image you're having a little trouble controlling, and uh, why should we feel guilty that we're sort of, you know, going around the PRs and the other flacks? So I understand the smoking gun is going on uh, television also. Uh, uh, court TV starting when? 
uh, starting August 20th, they're going to air two one hour, one half hour specials, and uh, Mo Rocca is going to host the show, and uh, it's Smoking Gun TV, and then they're going to do a year end wrap up. So, Andrew, if I got caught sticking up an Arby's or if some reporter took aerial photos of my hovel, do you think I'm a big enough celebrity that you would do something about me on your site? If you got caught sticking up an Arby's, now where would the Arby's be? Because if it's in Los Angeles, you're going to be clear about the mugshot. But uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. There's a good chance that we would be able to dig that up. And yeah, you would probably make it at this point. Best roast beef in the state. <laughs> All right. Well, Andrew, thank you very much. Uh, can you come back from time to time and uh, keep us up to date on what's going on in the courtrooms of America? Thanks so much. All right. Take it easy, Andrew. For more Smoking Gun stories, head to thesmokinggun.com. Coming up, a dramatic interpretation of a blog about Metallica. But first, here's one good reason for gun control. Go! Uh -huh. Go! Go! Wendy Bob? Hey! Hey! Shop. Wendy Bob! With Martin Sargent. Woo! This is Unscrewed News with Martin Sargent. As luck would have it, I'm Martin Sargent. Top story tonight. According to a poll by USA Today, CNN, and Gallup, Americans' trust in the media is declining. Astonishingly, the poll found that only 36% of respondents believe that the press reports events accurately. Or was that 37%? 38? 38. Whatever. Moving on, a recent study found that about one in every 300 births occurs in a vehicle. And you thought it was annoying when people talk on their cell phones when they drive. The main reasons for not making it to the hospital in time were getting stuck in traffic and experiencing bad weather. Although some just wanted the extra person so they'd be eligible for the carpool lane. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. And finally tonight, the city of Winnipeg, that's in Canada, ah. has made Homer Simpson an honorary citizen after learning that he was based on a real-life Winnipegian, Simpsons creator Matt Groening's father. Mr. Groening, the senior, says that he appreciates the honor but promises not to let it go to his enormous yellow head. <laughs> and that's the news with Martin Sargent. God, I want to go home! I'm Martin Sargent. Hey, we've got the hottest website in town right ahead, but first... May 10th. Dear Block. Watched MTV Icon tonight. It was one where they are honoring Metallica. Bands like Avril Lavigne, Korn, Limp Bizkit, Sum 41, Sting, all played Metallica covers, and seriously, almost all of them sucked ass at it. Korn is the only exception. They were the only band that was able to actually pull it off. They played one, and it was hella cool. Then Metallica came out. I must say that they really kicked ass. Hey, welcome back to Unscrewed. Thanks so much for sticking around. What do you say we read some emails? Uh, absolutely, that sounds like it. says Tech TV, let's read like emails, all right? Joey from uh, Peachtree, Georgia wrote in, he says, I would like to advise you of this family's decision to block Tech TV access at all TV sets in our house due to this show's inclusion in the Tech TV lineup. You are nothing but a moral terrorist. Wow. Wow. Well, Joey, actually, you're wrong. I don't only serve as a moral terrorist. I also serve as the honorary Grand Marshal in the annual Cunnilingus Parade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, P.S. You're, you're not going to be watching Tech TV anymore. Might I suggest the Learning Channel, where they'll uh, teach you how to punctuate. <laughs> we have time for another email? All right, let's Can do it. Can I say yes? Yes. All right, okay. This one uh, comes in from Nardoc. That's like a Star Wars character, I think. He writes, Martin, you should try to hook up with Laura. She's hot. 
You should really hook up with her before I do lol. Your show is cool, man, and that bong that was on your show does guys that made it are stupid. I don't know what it is with this audience, but that's two letters today where I feel that uh, I need to work on the spelling and the syntax with you. Let's, let's start at the top, all right? You should try to hook up with Laura. Even a first grader knows that it should be wit. You should try to hook up <laughs> with, with Laura. Yeah. That's how they're saying it, this, okay? You got that now? We'll go through, I'll send you an email with the rest of it. Hey, now let's take a moment for uh, WID, WID Laura, for an unscrewed public service announcement. We've been getting a lot of email from you people asking where you can find all the crazy videos and games we show, like this thing that we feature on the show. Don't write in, all right? Rather than responding to these queries individually and personally, calling each of you dumbasses, I thought I'd publicly explain the all-important unscrewed episode guides. Every day, the top story on our website, techtv.com slash unscrewed, is what we call the episode guide. It contains all the links to everything you will see on that night's program. Further down the unscrewed homepage are links to the past week of episode guides and one supreme link to the episode guide archives. That's the mother of all links. So before you email me about that cat fighting video for the hundredth time, check out the unscrewed episode guides where we try to help you help yourself. Okay, once again, techtv.com slash unscrewed. You with it? Are you with it? All right, so what do you think? Send us an email, unscrewed at techtv.com. Thanks to Ulrich Harbers and Andrew Goldberg and Laura Switcher. Oh, you're great. Hey, everyone. Good night. Thanks so much for watching. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman, the kind I'd like to meet. Pretty woman, I don't believe you, you're not the truth. No one could be as good as you. Mercy. Pretty woman, won't you pardon me? Pretty woman, I couldn't help but see. Pretty woman.